what up the youth of Merrafo um um here's why like I don't know where to even start but here's why um you need to really really take this message serious so on Monday I believe was it Monday oh it was on Tuesday I went to the uh opportunities you know for youth in the built in you know sector or something like that. I think it's about infrastructure because the MEC of infrastructure in Gauteng was was here to actually present to us, you know, a number of opportunities. I would say so called opportunities because for me it's not opportunities exactly. More especially when it comes to the public sector. The public sector is just a red flag area for me, you know. But I'm not saying that if you can have access into it, you know, you shouldn't go after it. But it's always best to work within the private because they, it's contract, deal, and you get your money. That's just how simple the private sector is. There isn't a lot of hustle to get your money out. I mean, I've seen a lot of people who have worked as subcontractors in the public sector always complaining about just how they didn't get, you know, their their money, you know, and how, you know, the payments are always delayed. So it's not a very good or healthy place to work in. But if you need to get your money, man, you know, if you, if you can and you have access into it and you are starting definitely go there you know you need all the papers and you know the the just the the uh the accolades that you you know the, that that are required for you to go work somewhere else but here's what what i was there for basically i was there to to see um if i can source out uh you know space you know space to work or just you know to hear how we can gain access to land you know as startups and npos that are that are working within the community and we have went to the municipality and asked for such and we were told there is no space <clears throat> every time you go to the municipality they will tell you there was no space but we heard one of the comrades there who was actually the mc i don't know his name mentioning that there has been auctions, you know, taking place around in and around Merafon where land has been sold. But how do you expect a youth startup to have the capital to buy um, land when they are starting up instead of having land leased to people or making other plans, uh, making other means? Understand? I don't know if our municipality is actually thinking about such but anyway i went there and <clears throat> to tell you the truth the only thing i heard was that there are projects such as you know the river uh the, the refurbishing of of the caltonville uh hospital and there is a primary that is going to be built i think in western area uh the refurbishment of la Ratung hospital and i think star fontaine those were the projects that were basically talked about <laughs> and in my head I'm thinking these are all contracts and they're all happening in different regions in the per, in, 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 in the district so um, so you are talking about Merafon refurbishing say branding you are telling the, the people here to go there and apply for those opportunities which is cool but that's just like a very short term thing, you know, you're, you're just going to be there for three, five years, you know, during the refurbishment, if everything goes well. Um, and what what then? What after? What, what then? After that, what happens? Well, maybe there will be other projects, maybe RDP development and everything that you can uh, subcontract in and everything like that. But... <laughs> For me, that was still not addressing the real issues that we have in Mirafon. Yes, we have an infrastructure problem, but I don't think the infrastructure problem is that important for now. Um, what's more important for me is the development of the minds of Mirafon. And usually I would say, and I would stick to this, that the people that are, are supposed to be developed are active youth. I think it's easy to, to, to find those people. 
if the like the municipality and you know that you know the politicians that work within the municipality will you know we're really about the people um they would easily find these people these minds that are active inside the community and make sure that they help these people um say uh improve their their businesses or just you know improve themselves because our problem is not an infrastructure problem it's a mental problem it's a it's a mind it's a mindset problem the the township does not need infrastructure because you're going to build the infrastructure and it's going to be damaged because the mindset to take care of the infrastructure is not there so um how, how they come here okay they talk about you know the the building of 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 you know basically the refurbishment of of um the you know the the Kafta Kaltenville hospital and i'm thinking to myself how many people are going to have access to that and in my head i'm thinking it can be it can be a lot and looking at just the situation of the youth in Merafong we are talking about just you know a lot of people you know we are talking about a lot of people who are unemployed who are unskilled who have very low i think uh low 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 marks in terms of just uh, acad acad their academics so you know that they, they won't have access to universities and some of the opportunities uh, included um, bursaries and everything so you, you can't talk about bursaries for instance if if you know that the majority of the youth in Kutong or Merafong is really passing they're passing Oh, yo, the pass rate is just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just a disgrace. Like you can't say somebody, who, you can't talk to somebody who got a thirty percent, you know, pass rate, um, and talk to them about. Uh, you can't talk to them about just passeries. Um, you are not being realistic. When you talk about learnerships, okay, cool. But the leaderships themselves are administrative leaderships. So, I mean, how many administrators do we really need to run a project? Because there isn't much administrators that we need. We don't need those many ad administrators. So, um, I know that um, I've done a leadership in water and in water purification and wastewater treatment. And that leadership was just... I feel like it's it's it, it hasn't done anything for me, and I doubt that it's gonna do anything for me in future, um, because it's just a leadership that is specifically for you know a certain field, and I can't use it in the private. I I, I can only use it usually in in the in the public sector, and the opportunities in the public sector are just minimal. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I think. Um, in infrastructure development and whatnot, and what I was listening to when I was there, is that infrastructure development as a sector, just as a sector, um, will not solve their problems. Because what we need is, you know, is, is some sort of mindset infrastructure that we can build around our youth. Because Honestly, truly speaking, a lot of them were there. Yes, there was a lot of people in the in the in the in that in that in that civic center. But a lot of people are not informed to have such conversations with the MECs and whatnot. And so, yeah, by the second half of the session, a lot of them had already left. You understand? They they couldn't even stay for the Q and A because they they couldn't understand what was you know being talked about. And what they really need is a job. They don't care about just infrastructure development. See, we have a mindset problem. So what I was trying to say is that there is a real danger uh, unfolding in Merafo. Um, the youth of Merafo needs to take themselves serious. You guys need to take yourself serious. Stop grooving too much. Stop drinking too much. 
Develop yourself. Find something you can do. Join an NPO. Join a business, you know, a group of people that have a business idea that are, that, 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 are, that are working with a business idea to change their lives. Volunteer. Do something with your time. Upskill yourself. Because even within that conversation, most of the opportunities uh, talked about were, 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 for, were, for, were, were actually meant for skilled people. So you have, you have you know, a business. If you have a business in construction, that's those were the people, uh, the target people, target, the targeted people. Um, you have, a, you have a, say, a, a qualification in construction or anything that has to do with architecture, say, or just maybe plumbing, uh, like if you're an artisan, or uh, maybe you are doing, you did all of that stuff. Like, if you did those things, then you stand a chance. You stand a chance. It does not necessarily mean that you're going to have access because your paperwork has to be in line. It has to, it has to, it has to help you get, go in. I'm tall. So, this is a message to the youth of Mirafon. Basically, I, I didn't shoot this to talk about that stuff. Is that I saw just the gap that we need to feel. You know what I mean? We know our pass rates. We know academics are not good. We need to talk about how we can how we can assist one another or how we can assist ourselves out of that situation. Yes, there is the Abed Center there by Padirile where you can go and upgrade your, your metric so that you can have access to varsity. There is other courses that you can do if you have money, you know, um, that can help you, you know, um, get to a certain, uh, uh, that can get you certain credits uh, so you can have access into varsity or, you know, have access into an institution. But most importantly, we need to to level up in terms of content. You know, stop watching TikTok. Um, it's not going to help you. Read a book. Watch a YouTube video that talks about certain things that are going to at least add to your, to your mind. Because I see a disaster. The mining industry is shutting down very soon. We can see it. It's unfolding before our eyes. The economy of Caltonville will go down without any industrialization taking place. And I don't see it happening anytime soon because just the, the tedious paperwork that's involved with just studying a manufacturing business or anything like of that nature is just crazy. And you are going to need funding. And I doubt that you're going to get funding from the government because the government is poor. It's struggling. We have seen that the NC can't even pay its workers. So we are talking about people that are just, you know what I mean, like, crazy you know it's like i'm just saying it's crazy guys so you need to you need to really upskill yourself take care of yourself um do what you're supposed to be doing stop grooving you know ladies i saw a lot of uh, wonderful ladies there you are beautiful stop drinking too much Maybe you will catch a husband that has, you know, a job, then they will take you in. At least you have a chance because you have good looks. We don't. Eh? We are men. We have to do what we are supposed to do. If you're a gent, ah, uh, bruh, like, you need to take yourself serious. You need to do something with your time that is going to be productive and that is going to add to your well-being. Because if you don't do that, ne? if you don't do that, you're going to suffer. In the next 10 years or so because yo man i'm telling you just the terrain is looking hella hella i want to say hella blurry for a lot of people and so our MECs are not looking at those things the fact that our pass rates are low uh, I'm not not pass rates, but the, the percentages that we're getting academically, they're very low, and so they are not qualifying us to get into into varsity and other institutions of higher learning. So, we are on our own. So you have a matric certificate, but it's not going to save you. It's just a certificate. It's just a paper. 
And when you go into higher learning, you need to choose courses that are that are needed, basically, that are needed in South Africa. Don't be studying business, what, what, administration. That stuff is not going to help you. You're not going to find a job unless you're you are planning to start your own business. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you if 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 if, if, if you're gonna study like um, a course that is not needed in South Africa, then you're wasting your time. You're just like the the rest of us who got low masks and who are just uh, who cannot gain access into 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 high institutions of higher learning. So study, study with with care. Study with key. Make sure that you understand what you're trying to do with yourself. Well, that said, I'm done. I don't want to talk too much. Uh, it was just um, that uh, I was. Not, I don't want to criticize the the MEC, but I was criticizing the youth. Fire. See you on the next one. <laughs>